Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sammy Wells here and today I wanted to talk about gun legislation because today, June 13th, the Senate passed a bipartisan bill addressing gun legislation and gun control, which I think, I mean, if it's bipartisan and we have both parties working to address a nationwide issue, which is, well, mass shootings and gun violence, I mean, I, I applaud the efforts of bipartisanship, but here's the issue in my opinion. It, it has nothing to do with the firearms. It has everything to do with mental health. We need to address mental health just as much as people want to address and, and politicians want to address gun control and gun legislation. If people are willing to put the same amount of effort into mental health, into addressing issues such as suicide, bullying, all these things that most or at least the majority of mass shooters experience, then you know what, I'll be on board. But it, it baffles me that so many politicians want to play politics when it comes to gun legislation instead of focusing on what's going to save people's lives and preventing mass shootings. People want to focus on AR-15s. The majority of people murdered by guns are, are murdered by handguns, not AR-15s. And it baffles me that people just say AR-15s, AR-15s, AR-15s. Well, in the House of Representatives, Democrats want to pass attacks on AR-15s and AR-15 style weapons. Define that for me. What is an AR-15 style weapon? What is that? I mean, seriously, it, you can't tax something and expect it to go away forever. I mean, cigarettes, the average price of cigarettes in New York is $12. Here in California, we have nearly a $3 tax on cigarettes, but heart attacks are on the rise. Alcohol, alcohol is expensive. DUIs are on the rise. I mean, just because you tax something doesn't mean it's going to go away. You, you need to focus on the real issues and the things behind th uh, mass shootings and stuff like that. I mean, seriously, focus on mental health. If you want to talk about gun legislation, I'm all for it, especially if it's bipartisan. I think that is amazing. But focus on mental health as well. People are being bullied. The majority of mass shooters are, are bullied. That's why they act the way they act. I mean, in Uvalde, there were so many red flags. The fact that he was posting on social media that he was killing his family members and what he was going to do next, like literally posting that on social media, and nobody said anything. Nobody saw the red flags. And he went to an elementary school and shot the children that he shot. I mean, seriously, it's mental health. I, I mean, I agree. An 18-year-old, the kid of that age, should not have been able to have owned the amount of firearms and the type of firearms that he owned but seriously when people are posting things and you can see the red flags within an individual act on it it's the mental health just as much as it is the guns and if not more because if you have someone who's i mean saying a, a law-abiding citizen i like i know a lot of people in politics like to say law-abiding citizens which the majority of people that own firearms are law are law-abiding citizens which is amazing those people are beyond qualified to own a firearm. I'd much rather be in a room with people that are law-abiding citizens that own firearms and are carrying a firearm than a room that, well, people don't own any guns if a mass shooting were to occur. Because I know I'm safe. Where? Where, where people are owning guns legally and they're law-abiding and, and they're uh, of a good mental state. But again politicians and people in dc people on the news want to play politics they don't want to focus on mental health they want to focus on gun legislation and gun control like that's going to solve the issue that's not going to solve the issue it's going to solve a chunk of the issue but not the entirety of the issue it's mental health we need to go after people with mental health we need to do more extensive background checks we need to do red flags i mean if, if you see people acting in a certain way that is suspicious that is showing signs of, of mental health issues, then they should not own a firearm. The the, the kid in Uvalde, the 18-year-old terrorist, I, I consider him a terrorist, in Uvalde, who went and shot up those kids in the elementary school. There's so many red flags, and nothing was done about it. Thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me that you watch this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications on your phone uh, when I post a new video. That would mean the world to me. I'm a small YouTuber trying to make it, trying to get out there, trying to voice my opinion, my thoughts on certain issues. If you have something you want me to talk about, comment it in the comment section down below. I read all the comments. Uh, I appreciate all of them, good and bad. I want to know what you guys have to say. You guys mean the world to me. Again, thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you next time.